Hi everyone and welcome to day two of our free graphic design class. So yesterday in the previous video I gave you the foundation to graphic design. So if you have not seen that video I would recommend that you go and watch that video because the knowledge from that video will be important in this lesson that I'm going to teach you here in this video. So today we are going straight into a full practical session where I will show you how to design a clean professional flyer starting from scratch using this application here known as pixel lab remember that in the previous video i told you guys to download the pixel lab application so now we're going to be using it and we're going to be doing a practical session and if you follow this process and i will be teaching you you will be shocked to see how easy it can be to actually create a good design so with that said let us start so the first thing is for you to set up your workspace open your pixel lab application and uh, usually it will appear like this now um, you have to actually, you know, start from a blank page. So me, I usually recommend you just scrolling all the way down. If you're using an Android phone, um, because this is a tablet, if you're using a phone, this whole thing you're seeing here, you actually find them at the bottom of your screen, and that is also fine. It's also okay like that. So it's just for you to look for this particular one here. This particular one here. So the, to the, the this one here, you look for it and click it so you can come to a blank white page. So I want your background to be a white page. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your image size, right? Because on the Android, on the Android version, um, this whole thing there at the bottom of this of the screen. So you find it at the at the bottom of your screen. So on the Android version, just make sure you come right. Look at look here. Um, that icon. That is where you will come. To, that icon that looks like this. Yes, those two icons. That icon here. That is the icon you you actually select. When you select it, you see color transparent image size image from gallery from can you see all these options there so you click image size and you change your image size to 1080 times 1080 so 1080 1080 why are we doing this we're doing this because it is the safest size that you can use for your flyers your work will look very clear anywhere in the world if you post it um, on any social media so this is the safest size to use and that's the size i recommend so now let's get right into the design, right? So we want to design um, a flyer that we advertise a product. So first of all, let me say this is our product right here, right? We're going to put our product in, but I want you to understand that in graphic design, we work with something called layers. We work with layers. So when I say layers, I don't mean uh, the layers that, that produce eggs. So no, I don't mean that. When, we, when I say we work with layers in graphic design, simply means like think of graphic design like you know, papers, you know, think of it like papers. If you are piling up papers, you know, you put one paper on, on the on the floor, then you put another paper on top of on top of it, and then you put another paper on top of it, like that, like that. That is how graphic design works. So the paper that is uh, at the bottom, that will be like the background. That's the background. While the paper that is on top, that is the foreground. So the foreground, that is going to be like what is on top while the background is what is behind so we keep stacking it upon each other like that like that one after another that is how graphic design work so first of all in this design our background is white so every other thing that we'll be doing now we're going to put it on top of this white that is what we'll be doing so first of all let us put our product right let's put our product um which is going to be here let me just add so how we're going to put our product is going to be here you will click on this one that look like a circle just focus here the one that look like a circle you click on it this is here so you see you see options of sticker import draw shapes bezier arrow so you go to import that's where you go to you go to import and then you click on now this is the product we'll be using we'll be ad advertising so i'll drop a link um below the video where you can download this product and use it to practice for yourself right so we add the product to it so this is the product we want to advertise. So we're going to put it in here like that nicely. The next is that we want to create awareness about this product. We want to pass an information to people about this product. That this product was selling it, right? We want to pass information to people. So what will we do is let's add text, right? So for you to add text to your, to your write-up, um, what you will do is you come right to that same place, but click on that A, letter A. Click on letter A. So the letter A, you see text and you see quotes so we'll go with text so when you go with text it will appear as new text and then you you expand it out expand it out like this and then you edit so i'm going to write super 
I'm writing in super. You can see super. Then the first thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the font of this super. Remember we talked about fonts in the previous video, right? So I'm going to change the font. I'm going to use um, this font, which is this font. You can, so just look for a font that is bold enough. Just look for a font that is bold enough. Another way you can do it is we can come to the normal font because there is a font that comes with the Pixel Lab itself. While me, I have my own fonts that I use, right? Which is my fonts, which I will be giving to my students in the um, graphics design class when we eventually launch off completely. So we can come right here and we can use um, we can use this Amaranth Bold. It's available for everyone to use. So let's go with that. Super, right? So super, but it is not okay like this. We'll put it in italics. So how can we put it in italics? We'll come right to, to, to that same text. You know, look for this this icon with letter B, icon letter B that is written as style. That is what you need to look for. When you see it, you click it, and then you change you change it. You click on this I that is curved. You click on it, then you see that now that it has become italics right it has become italics so that's what we need to do but i'm going to add one extra space to this super so that it can appear completely like this so the next thing i'll do is i'll copy it i'm going to copy that super so you can see there's an icon known as copy here so i'm going to copy it now you see it's double but i'm going to edit the second one to sale right i'm editing it to sale i'm adding one extra space so that everything can appear completely right so super sale like this so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give change um, add background to this text. So how can you add background to it? There's an icon where you see the label as back background when you click on the text. There's an icon labeled as background. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to activate it, enable it. When you enable it, you see how it appears. I'm going to change. I'm going to change it to deep blue. So I change it to deep blue, right? So that then I'm going to reduce some of this. Paddings. Why I want to do it? Why I want to reduce it? I want the pad. I want the background to be exactly the same height as the letters rating. So I'm going to reduce the top padding. I'll reduce the top padding if you see what I'm doing on the screen. Then I'm re I'll re reduce the bottom padding as well, so it appears nicely like this, right? So then I'm going to change the color of the of the text to white because it is dull like this. So I'll change the color to white. This is color right here. So I'm going to change it to white. So I'm just going to scroll and change it to white. So this is it. I will still make it bigger. Then this super, I'll do the same thing. So it's the same thing I am doing for this super. So I'm just going to first of all change the background. I'll activate the background, then change the color of the background. Then I would reduce the top padding, reduce the bottom padding. Then I'll make it bigger. Then I'll change the color to white. That is still the same sequence I am following for this as well. So now that the two of them are available, next thing I'll do, you see that this sale is covering is covering our product. So I'll put, I'll shift them to the back so that the product can be in front. That is what I am going to do next. So I'll shift them to the back so that this product can be in front, in front, right? So that is what I am going to do next. So how am I going? How am I going? To, how am I going to do this? Well, first of all, I just want to rotate our product a little bit. Um, let it just bend a little bit. We don't want it to be straight. We want it to bend a little bit. So how am I doing that? And I'm just basically tapping this icon here that looks like a small smiley. And that's what I'm rotating. When you rotate it, it will shift like this. Or you can even use um, the rotate function. There's something called rotate here. See it here. You can use that to shift it as well. So now that that is done, I want to move my product to the front. How do I do that? I'll come right here. You see this icon here? That's what I'll click. Click it. It appears like this. Then you see now that these are the layers we're working with. The product is under while the text is on top. So I'm going to shift the product to the top. So I'll press and hold the product and I'll shift it to the top. So now I've done that and you can see our product is now on top. Right here, you can see this our product is now on top. So next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of shadow for our product. There's no shadow here. I want there to be some shadow so that I can be as if the product is standing on the ground, right? So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to come right to this middle icon and I'm going to look for shadow. So this is shadow here. So I'm going to click it and I'll activate it. 
now there's some, there's some shadow then i'm going to now now you see that the shadow is all around but i don't want it to be all around i want the shadow to be just under the floor here like that so i'm just going to play around with this offset you can see it's the shadow is moving so i want to offset it on the y axis so this is the offset to the y axis that is what i am going to use So then you can also change the color of the shadow. So this color of the shadow is too dark. So I'm just going to reduce it a little bit to be light. And there, there, there we go. Then next, let's just, just let's just put some last words on it. So let's put special offer here and let's put 50% off here. And then we're done with our design. So let's do that. So for me to do that, I'm just going to copy or copy and I would reduce the I will change the text to special offer and reduce the size. So then I'm going to change the background of the special offer to kind of like red. Because it be, we want it to be very special so we're going to change it to red and here see how it looks like so you see our background is not really that nice so i'm just going to increase the padding a little bit so that it can appear well mm -hmm. just like that right then i'm going to put 50 percent off so for me to put 50 percent off i'm going to put a shape first the shape will be like circle then i'll put the 50 percent on top of it so the shape will be a circle right and then it's going to be a red circle so i'm going to change the color to red and i'm going to write 50 percent on top of it so i can add some shadows to the to the shape to make it nicer then i'll put 50 percent on top of it so i'm going to edit this to 50 percent Then of course I will need to remove the background because I don't need the background actually here. We already have our shape, which is nice. And there we have it. You see, so we are done with our design, and this is our design, very nice design. And I hope you enjoyed this lecture. I hope you learned a lot in this lecture. Now, what I want one thing I wanted to observe is that you see that this design is fine, not because there are many, many things in it, but because it is neat. There is enough space and it is clear. And this is already day two and you have already learned how to design a clean flyer from scratch now what i want you to do is try and design this all by yourself all on your own do it by yourself because that is the only way you learn. do it by yourself and post it in the comment section of this video so i would re i would be responding to every single person that posts their um their work in the comment section so post your work in the comment section so you can get access and tomorrow we would also go into a deeper style and we'll learn something else now imagine you're learning all of this for free imagine what you will learn in the full one month free pro and um, pro professional class that will be holding on graphic design very soon so this is to prepare your mind so you start preparing for that class because that class is going to encompass every single detail you need to know about graphic design even up to the aspect of how you can use it to make money for yourself as a business so i will see you in the next video i am a tutor doctor and i am rooting for you